Give. Good job. We're down to the last few days of our trip chasing desert quail in the southwest. This is going to be the final video of the series and I hope you guys have enjoyed following along. It's always a pleasure to be able to share the experiences on these trips with other Uplanders and to finish this one off, we've got some 410 action, a run with the puppy, and a big surprise in one of the wildest places I've ever hunted. So on this hunt, I'm going out with the 410 that I had mentioned. I normally don't hunt with this gun because it's so light that it's hard to keep a steady, even swing with. It's just kind of like jerking a stick around, so I shoot like crap with it. Yeti is on point here, and I'm trying to get my wife to work into these birds for a shot. Come on up here, Bonnie. Where are they on the other side? They're up. There. We have. No, we don't have to worry about them. There's a lot of trees in the way right here. Mern's quail are known for holding extremely tight. Sometimes until you've basically about stepped on them. I like to describe it as a jack-in-the-box. You know what's going to happen, Whoa. you just don't know when, and even though you're expecting it to happen, the birds can still startle you when they take off at your feet, and that is exactly what happens to my wife here when she steps on this covey. We all come up empty, but we've got a good mark on where a few birds landed, so we head in that direction. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. You hit either of those partners? Give, yeah, I hit this one. Yeah. Give. Good boy. Come here. Feel. Good boy. Give. Good boy, Yeti. Whew. Good 
Go 410 smacking some birds. Bro, that was slick. Yeah, go to that side. This run is all about our puppy Fox. I never pulled the trigger on this walk, but that's okay. If you're going to raise a truly wild bird dog, these types of runs are the foundation blocks. And sometimes that means sacrificing birds in the bag. Fox is six months old, and what I'm looking for from her on this run is to handle with me, stay to the front, and to learn that we're out here looking for birds. Prior to this, all I've done is gun breaker, so this is a young dog in its rawest form. She does get birdie and flash points a few times on this walk, but other than her working with me, my goal is to keep my mouth shut and let the birds teach her the rest. I feel like she's just, she's been smelling bits and pieces of something. Like all through up here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Been trying to let her work through this whole area. We've been working through an area where Fox has been really birdy, so I've just been taking our time going through it and trying to give her the best opportunity to fully work the area and find the birds if they are here. And after some searching, she finally runs into a covey. Nice. <laughs> so her nose led her to find this covey, she busted them, took a big long chase as they flew off, so this was a big win in my book for this walk. Alright buddy, you ready to go have a good time? Yeti, Yeti. Yeti. Right. 
Let's circle out in front of them. Wow. Did you get that video? Yeah. Wow. He was really close to that thing. Okay. All right, here we go. You see him right there? Yeah. All right. It's creepy. Whoa. Be ready. Keep moving up. We were standing in them. Good boy, Yeti. I got one. Good boy, Yeti. Good boy, right here. Good boy. Hey, give. Good boy. Whew. Finally. Good job. So they were Jeez, sitting. These things, you aren't kidding, these things like just scare the crap out of me uh-huh and i was looking on the ground too i was looking like, on the ground him? too i'm just like okay and then I... it looked like the dog was second guessing himself a little bit that was probably because it was so windy uh -huh. you see him there oh wow that's good yep Here, you switch spots with me, okay. and you circle up to the right. There. Whoa! Now I'm gonna shoot it. Shoot him! Shoot him! Right there. We got him. That's a hen. Hen. Yeti, dead bird. Are you sure we got it? We got him. Hen, here. You you walk up there. Probably it, huh? The old wing in the face. Good boy. That's a nice bird. Hey, give. 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 Good boy, Yeti. Nice. Male. Yeah, really nice male. Ooh. Nice big male. Oh, his beak is like blue. Yeah. Pretty. What's in front of me doesn't look like much, but this spot turns into the wildest place I've ever hunted. It's a spot that starts out as desert habitat in the front part, and it progresses into some big, rocky hills that felt like untamed, untouched land. Just thinking about it now gives me goosebumps, and I hope you guys enjoy this walk as much as I did. I had hopes of finding all three species of quail on one walk here, as it had the habitat to support all three. 
Before we made it to the section where I would expect to find Mern's quail, Ember goes on point, and in my mind, I'm thinking gambles or scaled quail that are probably on the run, but what takes flight was not what I was expecting to find here. Holy crap. Giant covey of Merns. Come on, Ember. Here. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good job. Give. Wow. Wow. That caught me by surprise. Big time. I was coming in here to try and find all three species, but I wasn't expecting to hit a covey of merns right here. Holy crap. Mern's quail are typically found in grassy hillsides and canyons that have oak trees. And this spot did eventually turn into that, but I was not expecting to find that covey in what would typically be gambles and scaled quail habitat. farther back I walked, the wilder this place got. The rocky terrain, towering Ocotillo plants, and the golden glow from the grass made a surreal surrounding that felt like I had transported into a different world. Down in the wash in front of me, we got into a covey of gambles. I wasn't able to get the shot on camera, but pretty cool that we have now found our second species on this walk. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fat chair. Fat chair. Good girl. Good girl. Right here. Ember. Good girl. Give. Good job, girl. 
Good job. Man, I don't think I could have drawn up a better way to end our trip and season than the walk we just had. This is what chasing wild birds and wild places is all about. From the western prairies in September, to the north woods in October, Look at that. Just look at that. Michigan Sharptail. And following bird dogs across the desert in January. This has been a season to remember for years to come and I'm thankful for the opportunity to share it all with you guys. So thank you so much for following along and until next time, may your dog's nose be true and your shot fly straight. Good luck chasing the flush. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico. You want me to go with the guns, you go with the dog? Yeah. Here. Good girl. Thank you.